Fry Bread, a Native American Family Story, written by Kevin Noble Miller, illustrated by Juana Martinez Neal. Fry bread is food. Flour, salt, water, cornmeal, baking powder, perhaps milk, maybe sugar. All mixed together in a big bowl. Fry bread is shape. Hands mold the dough, flat like a pancake, round like a ball. Or puffy like Nana's softest pillow. Fry bread is sound. The skillet clangs on the stove. The fire blazes from below. Drop the dough in the skillet. The bubbles sizzle and pop. Fry bread is color. Golden brown, tan or yellow. Deep like coffee, sienna or earth. Light like snow and cream warm like rays of sun. Fry bread is flavor. See beans or soup, smell tacos, cheese, and vegetables, delight in honey and jam. Rise to discover what brings us together. Fry bread is time on weekdays and holidays supper or dinner, powwows and festivals, moments together with family and friends. Fry bread is art, sculpture, landscape, portrait, our daily craft, shared from teacher to student, a cycle of heritage and fortune. Fry bread is history, the long walk, the stolen land, strangers in our own world. With unknown food, we made new recipes from what we had. Fry bread is place, Alaska, Kansas, all the way to Maine, down to Delaware, on to Georgia, over to Oklahoma, Colorado, and California, cities and lands we call home. Fry bread is nation. Abnaki, Apache, Arapaho, Ojibwa, Onondagwa, Oglala Sioux, Narangansit, Navajo, Nipmuc, Seminole, Sashani, Sac and Fox, hundreds and hundreds of tribes. Fry bread is everything, round, flat, large, small, north, south, east, west, brown, yellow, black, white, familiar and foreign, old and new, we come together. Fry bread is us, we are still here, elder and young, friend and neighbor. We strengthen each other to learn, change, and survive. Fry bread is you. And here we have the author's recipe for fry bread. And the ingredients are one pint of boiling water, one cup of cornmeal, one and a half cups of cold water, half an ounce of dry or instant yeast, which is approximately two packages, one cup of raw sugar, one teaspoon of sea salt, three and a half cups of flour, and unrefined coconut oil. 
And here are the steps for our recipe that we're going to follow today.